This story is written by Sanjay Camel. Have you ever seen a ghost or experienced means that happened to you? Terrible fantasy find no words. I cannot fear but that beat will change your whole life. This strange experience goes on waking up. He becomes afraid to contemplate. Tell her in one such experience. It's 11 o'clock. I'm sitting in my little room. A few days ago my window panes would be broken by the children playing cricket outside. I feel in the thick darkness outside that broken glass. The lights in my room are off. Mobile charging on silent mode. And I'm going to share my experience with you. Who will believe it? Someone will spoil my fun. Well, many people like us complete their studies with work. I used to do a similar part-time job. Whole day college. And at night he used to drive the rickshaw. Of the uncle of the neighbor. Used to earn a little bit, the more time you work. The more you earn, that's why there was no idea of time and work. Used to accompany study material. To read in free time. But that experience changed my whole life. It was that day in August, two years ago. It was raining heavily that day. I was going to college on a bicycle like every Russian. No sign of rain abating. My bike chain came off. I left. I was late to reach the college. Sir asked me to stay outside till the next lecture. I felt bad for his words, but I had no other option. I would also have a rift with my girlfriend, because it was her birthday, and I didn't wish him at 12 o'clock. Gone mad. When I started talking to my friends, they too were angry with me. We had a plan to go somewhere beautiful, and I forget. Gone like this, today's day is useless. Don't know what else is going to be bad, I left there saying that. No one walks in front of Liv. had in mind. No one to mess with today. And I reached home. It was night. It was time to go to duty. After putting my mobile on charging. I was watching my uncle's condition after finishing the food served to him. I went to get fresh and switched off the lights of the room. And went away holding the rickshaw key in hand. Uncle said Sanju, today it is raining a lot. Take care, Uncle there. I start my rickshaw and go into rickshaw stand. There was no signal and today the traffic of the people was also less. It was just 11.30 and 11.45 now. I was not in a mood to study because of the things. I had lost throughout the day, so I started listening to Kishar Kumar's songs in a low voice. Then I heard some sound, I put my neck out. I saw a man outside the shop on the other side of the road. He was calling me by waving his hand. I started the rickshaw and went to him. He was about 55 years old. He had a white shirt and a mat in his hand. As soon as I reached him, he immediately got into the rickshaw. And he say, Amadi Tafada. I started driving a rickshaw to reach the place he told me. I said reaching for the drops of the mirror. Today the December rain seems to have troubled. Today Panch Ganga will be fenced. Hmm. I said to myself what a boring man. And I listen a song. After a while I realized that. So this guy was just staring at me non-stop. I gave a smile in the mirror too, but there was no expression on his face. 
he just kept staring at me. Now we had left the city behind and were on the highway. There were fewer cars on the highway than usual today. We crossed the bridge from the highway and saw two people pushing a motorcycle on the side of the road. One of them waved his hand. I told my passenger with a smile, maybe their motorcycle broke down. That's why they're pushing it. It's not good to push a vehicle in such a stormy rain at this time of night. He didn't react to my words. He just kept staring at me as if he had never seen a person before. I drove the rickshaw towards the guy who waved his hand and said, Thank God you came today, man. We were coming back after watching the 9 to 12 show when the petrol ran out. I said, I always tell you, I provide you with petrol. Where is your phone? Your girlfriend called. She was asking for you. It's her birthday and you didn't call her. Hearing his words, my head started spinning. There'll be trouble in college tomorrow. I left my phone at home and it was on silent too. Before I could say anything else, he asked where I was going alone. Were you going to pick someone up or what? Alone? There's a passenger in the back, right? So there was no one. I said he must have run away. I had just told him that we would help them. And he said, I had seen your rickshaw from a distance. I didn't see anyone getting off. It made me furious. I had been talking to that man for so long. Where did he suddenly disappear? Maybe he ran away to avoid paying me. I gave Vinod some petrol and I left from there. On the highway, I saw a couple at a bus stop after a short distance. I stopped the rickshaw near them. They had to go a little far. While starting the meter, our journey began. It was around 1.30 at night. There was still plenty of time to reach the place they had told me about. I looked back at the couple and both were busy talking. I wondered if they too had suddenly disappeared, so I checked by looking back. In a little while I saw a man standing ahead. I took the rickshaw to him and my mind spun. I recognized him and said angrily, and where did you run off to old man? Now give me my money. The man pretended not to understand what I was saying and calmly replied, you want money, I'll give it to you. My house is just a little further ahead. Drop me off there, and I will give you your money as soon as I get off. And then he started directing me to his house. In between, I kept looking at him through the mirror. Maybe he would run away again, but he was still staring at me. After crossing a bridge and a little distance on, he asked me to stop the rickshaw. I stopped the rickshaw. If you don't have it, that's okay. You can sit and I'll drop you off at your village. The passenger sitting inside also said, Uncle, we will pay your fare. note fell down. He bent to pick it up when I said, Stop, uncle. Let me do it. I bent down to pick up the note. What I saw startled me.
I was dripping with fear. It felt like my heart was going to burst. I started driving fast without wasting any time. The passenger in the back said, You were arguing for the money for so long, and now you're leaving without taking it. At least take your fare. Looking into the mirror, I told them, Don't look behind, just leave from here. I will tell you everything later. The passenger asked, Why are you so scared? What happened? I hid my fear and replied, Both of you are making me feel a little strange. I then asked them, Was there an accident on this road recently? Cutting off my question, the lady in the back said, I saw through the glass of the rickshaw and it was a terrifying sight. I felt shivers down my spine and my heart started pounding. I asked the woman in the back, Madam, you don't need to be afraid, brother. Now, madam, please close your eyes. Don't look at that thing. Call on God. He can only save us. Meanwhile, I started to increase the speed of the rickshaw. I was encouraging the two of them, but only I knew how scared I was from inside. That same man appeared on the way again. I had lost all my courage. But still, I tried to look at him from the corner of my eye. But he couldn't see us. From the looks of it, seems like quite a few vehicles had run over his body. Wait, let me take your fare. I could never have even dreamed of such a horrifying experience. The passengers in the back seemed to be quite scared by now. Both husband and wife were still sitting with their eyes closed. I couldn't think straight. I was shaking with fear. I was just driving the rickshaw at insane speed. Suddenly, a white figure popped up and disappeared. My heart froze. Suddenly, my eyes fell on the passengers. Both the husband and wife were still sitting with their eyes closed, and a white figure was sitting right next to them. After a while, it disappeared. My heart sank. The high-speed rickshaw was rolling ahead, and we had left the highway now, heading towards a village mission. Suddenly, I heard a screeching sound from behind. The sound made my heart drop. Gradually, the white figure disappeared. I said, she was terrified. Not ready to open her eyes yet. I could see the village's electricity pole lights and felt a sigh of relief. They told me accidents happen here quite often. Just two days ago, Two people died in an accident. But why are you asking about it? Looking into the mirror, I told them that when I bent down to pick up uncle's dropped money, I saw a pair of feet soaked in blood, and I had just left from there without picking up the money. Somebody was being operated on back, there was a surgery, I could see all this. ...of an operation. Scalpels and blood are too much for me, so I walked out of there immediately. Family and friends were just outside. I started talking to them when a ward boy brought in a critically injured girl. 
It looked like she had been in some kind of accident. She was wounded all over. Her condition was seriously bad. I saw another girl, looking like a mirror image to the injured one, brimming with anger and storming towards us. I instantly recognized her. They had just taken her twin sister, a relative, inside. She shot me a million angry glares before heading in. My eyes wandered out towards the board outside the room. It was there. That too. from my own body. If you like this story, don't forget to subscribe to us. Do follow our Instagram and Facebook page. If you too have a story to share, do tell us in the comment box. We'll try to make the next animated story based on your account.